In this video, we're going to start taking a look at order of operations, but first by focusing on an operation we may not have worked with before, exponents. What we use exponents for is we use exponents to represent repeated multiplication. How an exponent works is we'll have some number that is the base. In this case, we've got 3 for the base, the large number, and that is the repeated number. And then we'll write a superscript or a small number that's a little bit elevated to represent our exponent. The exponent tells us the number of repeats. So this problem, 3 to the 4th power, would mean the number 3 is repeated 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Turns out, this comes out to be 81. I want to notice that that repeated multiplication did not mean we multiplied 3 times 4. One of the most common errors students make with exponents is when they see 3 to the 4th power, they read that as 3 times 4 and write the answer 12, which you see is much different than 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 81. So with that in mind, let's practice evaluating a few exponent problems. Here we're asked to evaluate 2 to the 5th power. This means we have the number 2 repeated 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now all we have to do is multiply this out to get our solution. Let's just go left to right for now. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and 16 times 2 gives us our final answer of 32. So 2 to the 5th power, or 2 multiplied 5 times, will give us an answer of 32. Let's try one more example where we evaluate an exponent. Here we're asked to find 5 to the 3rd power. This means we have the number 5 repeated 3 times. 5 times 5 times 5. Now, just multiplying this out will give us our solution. 5 times 5 we know is 25, and all that's left is 25 times 5. Maybe needing some scratch work to find 25 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10, and 2 more is 12, and so we get 125 for our final solution for 5 to the 3rd power. As we work through our pre-algebra study, we'll use exponents a lot to represent repeated multiplication.